Today in phonics, students are doing lesson 128 and 129. I have charts 12 and 13 for students to review on the next slide. So today, students will learn the word antonyms. So antonyms is just a big word for opposites. So we learned that opposites are two things that are totally different from one another. And so antonyms are the same thing. So I have the words come and go, day and night, cook and bake, off and on. So these are words that are antonyms. They are opposite from one another. So you will start to see that in your workbook page. In the workbook page, students will also review adjectives, which tell you what kind and how many of something. Today's pages are 255 all the way to 258. Today in spelling, students can review their lists. They also can do an activity that we do sometimes in class. It's called forward and backward. So we have a loose leaf paper. We divide it in half. On the left side, we'll put forward at the top. On the right side, we'll put backwards at the top, just like how it looks on the picture. And so on the forward side, they'll write their spelling word the regular way that it's written, the correct way. And then on the right side, they, the backward side, they would just write the word backwards. So when we do this, we only do this with our book words, vocabulary and Greek and Latin words are just Latin words they have we write those two times so this will be only for um, the words 1 through 17 in their book their vocabulary and their Latin words they can write two times after that this week in language we are learning prepositions a preposition is a word that shows the relationship of a noun or pronoun to each other in a sentence so yesterday students um, learned the prepositions above on and under so in the next slide I have three new prepositions that students will learn tomorrow they will have a language test on all six of these prepositions and they will have to know the definition on tomorrow as well if you look at the board, uh, the three new prepositions we're learning today are board, about, and across. So the first sentence I have, we went aboard the train. So if you see the sentence, the underlying preposition is aboard. And it's showing the connection between we, the pronoun, and train, the noun. Next sentence says, her story was about a princess. So about is the preposition. It's showing the relationship between her and princess. And then the last sentence says, they walked across the yard. Across is the preposition. It's showing the relationship between the pronoun they and the word yard. And I just haven't read the other three that we've learned. So today, parents, what you could have students do is give you sentences with these six prepositions and have them do the arrows, just like I do, showing the relationship between the pronoun and the noun in the sentence. Today in social studies, students can review their pages on the immigrants that came to America. The lesson is A New America. Uh, their test will be on Friday. Today in science, students can study the whole chapter on scientists. Their tests on Friday, they will have to know the different tools and all of that, but they also will have to know the scientific method process. So just make sure that you review those pages as well. The test will be on Friday for this. Um, I hope you all have a good day.